And when he did, he made a mess. E -a -e -a -a. <laughs> a pepperoni here and a sausage there. Pepperoni here and a sausage there. Michael Patton had sex with a pizza. And he yeah, smooched his pants. <laughs> And now, our feature presentation. <laughs> got recorded. Gross. <laughs> Welcome, Roll and Fall, to night 224 of SNR. So, tonight we got Plumfield Night. We got six. Uh, I'm gonna say six, but it's seven sky gas. I might think it's six. Really? <laughs> Start that again. Okay. Got seven sky gas from left to right. In the order of Aubrey Scott Productions, Robert Way to Run, Mr. Tim Remy Sooner, NWB 1989, MC Jack, C3PL 66, and Eda Cool Dog 7. I got uh, Tim say the magic word earlier. Gersh. <laughs> and he loved every second of it. Gersh. <laughs> just for anyone who's watching who is not aware of this, I just received the Package Handler of the Month award at my local workplace. Yay! Probably didn't expect it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> As now. Oh, now I can put on my webcam. It is over. brought to you by 98.3 The Key, The K92.1, Sunny 106.5, Cool Cadena. Monkey sponsor is the Big Bird Country 1015, the Tri Home State Area, and the Stars and NASCAR, and the Xfinity Race is going to be on tomorrow morning since they got postponed due to thunderstorms and the Speedway. And if, even if you want to ask, I saw it too. <laughs> it wasn't a pretty picture when I got to see the lightnings. Boy, you get to see him on, on TV. He's like, ooh. See him in real life. No, nah, I'm out of there. So. The race will be on tomorrow morning on Fox Sports 2. Which I'm pissed because I don't got Fox Sports 2. <laughs> well, well. It is what it is. Alright. Here we go to UT next. It's also brought to you by Cozy 101.1, home to Saturday Night Party, and this weekend it's I Love the 80s Weekend, along with Amazon.com, you get coupons, crap roads, and whatever the hell you want, including my real fortune watch. And it's also brought to you by Conor O'Brien Presents Team Coco, who's finally got a book on Muppet Necking. <laughs> <laughs> he finally got into that one. Thank That's you, Conan. Well, and... A point ninety four point one and the new repeat workday because you don't want to hear the same song twice. That would be annoying. <laughs> Kinda like that voice I just did. <laughs> I'll be for J. Alright. We got ninety eight point six K to O T A. My music. My Koopa. <laughs> and by the Mr. Wilson rap song. Ooh. Hang on. I got this. <laughs> and my phone battery percentage is at 69, really. Oh, <laughs> God. How lovely. Okay, here we go. My name is Mr. Wilson, and I'm here to say I'm going to smack your ass in a major way. What are you doing in my basement? Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> And that is from Game Grumps, a Dennis the Menace playthrough. Watch Game Grumps on YouTube. Hey, I'm grump. If that's not so grump. And <laughs> we're the Game Grumps. Love those guys. Thank you, guys. Love you. And we will always watch your videos.
And on three. Alright, yeah. Let's roll. Weasel.net radio. Visit them online all the time, 24/7 at Weasel.net. Select the favorite song that you want off of the pre-requested list, and it'll play it next in queue. Or just select one of the many different sublists of your favorite artists and more. Also, 181.fm playing the best of the 80s, 90s, hard rock, soft rock, aughts, Beatles, your Elvises, and more. Just visit them at 181.fm, select the favorite substation you want, click the live stream link, and you're going. Yeah, the team was telling me I almost called you Conan, Chloe, so I put an eye contact. And then I caught it at least, so I... <laughs> well, hey, at least he thinks I'm a redhead and a, a good broadcaster. <laughs> and his psychic is also... Andy, Andy Richter. Richter. Mm -hmm. Who also hosted the Pyramid Pilot for a uh, $500,000 pyramid. And he was also on Celebrity Jeopardy, too. Wasn't he also the, one of the pitchmen for Million Dollar Pyramid as well, Andy Richter? I... We'll have to double check. Don't know. Uh, between that or Dean Cain, I think Dean Cain would have did a better job. Yeah. Um. Had it have been picked Colossus up. Colossus is not alone. His sponsor is his radio station in Can uh, Cam oh, San Jose. <laughs> and it's only camera. You mean the bone, right? The bone, yes. And next one will be is. J uh. J Jack. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> I'm gonna say Jay all of a sudden, but we know Jay went to bed. <laughs> Yeah, fuck yes. Alright, Nick. Alright, alright. It's also brought to you by Molasses, the most delicious sugary tasty syrup which you can pour on your pancakes, and waffles, even your French toast. And also, ever think about getting a dog or a cat or a new car that's brown? Don't even think about calling it root beer, chocolate, coffee. Just name it Molasses. It colors any of those things. And it's also brought to you by Madison's Magic 98, home of Saturday at the 70s, Sunday at the 80s, Sunday morning smooth, and also Monday through Friday, Sunday through Friday, Friday nights, uh, make love with Delilah. <laughs> Ten sponsor is brought to you by Mr. Oh, sorry, Rubble, yes. <laughs> I need a focus. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 Whoa! Let me speed this up before it turns and tells him. Let me speed this up before it tells him he's gonna get wrecked. <laughs> Road Rage Dual Championship, the Launch Box, Turtle Beach, number one in gaming audio, Splatoon, right out of what's in it, only on Wii U. Get it now! And also brought to you by the SNR Word of the Week. The, the SNR Word of the Week is butt. That's what Corey Sparks come out of. But that's your SNR Word of the Week. And. And. And what? And what? Mario Kart. Oh, yeah, Saturday, Saturday Mario Kart. It's a thing. Yay! Mario Kart. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mario Kart. I did, have an, I did have another sponsor, but that is going to have to wait. Mario Kart Saturday, <laughs> join with me, Lobo, Jay, Logan, the fall player. Probably we a full player in World of Caught Ways. Uh, fun. Uh, frantic fun. And all that. And I will be, probably this week, making a playlist for Mario Kart Races. That's been uploading. That's been uploaded on the channel. Alright, now Tim's sponsor is How Dare You. Again. 
There we go. Well, so, all of that. And of course, I'll finish up with KNDU NBC News Now, 100.1 FM, the Q. Hang on, let me take a deep breath. <sighs> In 1360, KOHU, playing country music and high school athletics. And we got tonight's fun field plan. And I also want to bring one more sponsor is Pepsi Cola. Pepsi Cola, taste the difference. Uh, excuse me, Ben. Yeah. One Robo, how dare you think I'm going to get wrecked? <laughs> <laughs> okay, tonight's sponsor is Wrecked. That's what Tim Zoo's going to get. Wrecked. <laughs> Oh, and two. No, the number sponsor of the night is Whammy Poop. When you poop on the Whammy's head. And number two, um, signups are still going on for meal or no meal. Check out my channel for more details. That is it. Fun field plans. Okay, thank you. Fun field plans for tonight. We got Wheel for the Super NES. Uh. The Astronaut Challenger, as finally we got a challenge going on. We got kind of fun off camera, but don't worry about this. But the on camera one is the Price is Right Showdown. That's going to be fun. And tonight's gameplay is no gameplay because we're playing an arcade game. Just the only arcade game. And that is going to be Driving. Um, put me behind a wheel. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be fun. Wheels, meals, and all that stuff. <laughs> so let's get on to wheel for the Super Nintendo. Yay! Alright. We did promise you fun games and all. Let's get to the games and before we do this, I need to share the screen. I think it would be more. Possible way you guys see the screen, right? Loading. Yes. Right. Uh, Ben, I'm on my phone, so I'm I know. See That's all right. I can't. Oh, can't see Corey. <laughs> okay. Wheel of Fortune, um, I know this is guy playing. Right now. Actually, crap it now. Yeah, I'm not going to do just that. Leave, just leave screen share off. Yeah, I'm just going to have to do that for the night. Um, put that oh. star. That, that is the, the box. Three, bo uh, three players. Two computers. S and R. While we do this, this man, even though OBS disables arrow, it nowhere in it does it give you more speed. So no screen sharing when you do stuff like that. Yeah, I know, and that's really gonna hit the imagine. Yeah, it's also doing. It's also lag. Well, it's not lag about it. It will cause lag to happen. So I'm not gonna do that. But it also depends on what stream source that you use to record that. If you don't use game up. Game recording mode on that thing, then yeah, you're gonna have a huge lag spike. Yeah. So if you're not using it right now, then I'll probably terminate and restart that. Yeah, I'm not using that one. You're not using the, you're not using the game record feature. No. Manners. Then that's why you're having lag, dude. But it is fine now. Yeah, but technically you need to be using the game recording software. It's the same thing I use, and I get better results plus HD. Alright. Alright. Next time at least remember that before you record, then that's, then that's probably where you're not going to have lag next time. Alright. Well, we're at We Are Fortune Super Nintendo Game Egg. We're at $49,100. After we won four out. Uh, wait a minute, did I say four prizes? <laughs> Pay attention, Ben. Yeah, it is four prizes. 
Cause we still haven't gotten We still haven't gotten the twenty five thousand dollars in cash. And that hasn't been won yet. I say yet. Chocolate pie, strawberry pie, raspberry pie, ice cream pie. pie. <laughs> okay. Paula and Judd. So what, Paula? What's your last name? Dean? Paula Dean. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Hey, Nick, you prefer cookie and cream pie? Categories of phrase. The phrase is Tim Duna, I'm Gary. I'm Uh oh. R. Two robots. <laughs> Ooh, and I nearly went back. Wow. Two. Ooh. Is there an O? Format for now, and I'll be 28 years old. And who am I spending the first oh part of it? You guys. I would like to buy a vowel and no, and then. What? <laughs> I picked him. I was thinking. <laughs> 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 oh my <laughs> god! Ben, had that been the actual show, you would have been buzzed for that. I know. And speaking yeah. of, I actually. Do audition for the real show. Oh, I want to buy a pen. Oh, I want to. What's up? Go to a restaurant and buy something. Uh, no. No, no, tea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, not the phone, darn it. Oh, my God. I can't even think straight. Don't go with that joke. Yeah. <sighs> 350. Yeah. H. So for no, for no, it can't be you, man. What it? Hey, man. Go for. I was hoping that's gonna be a G somewhere. Okay, I know it's go. Go for. Oh, I know it! And it's just now kicked into sense. Go for broke. Go with the flow. Please be last. Please be last. No. No, it should be a free spin. I'll take a B. I'm in a puzzle. And we're not. And you're not. Once the is done, it's Val's time. Doop, doop, doop. And there we go. Yeah, yeah, right. Twenty-six fifty. Person, twenty-five hundred dollars space, and also a free spin is added to the wheel. All that stuff. <laughs> The only turkeys around here are the ones you eat. Oh, yeah. No end. Judd is up. Judd is Judd. Judd is up. I can't even speak. Judd is the bankrupt. 600. Yes. Nope. Wristband. 
Five fifty. T. Oh come on! I even a T in a puzzle. Oh wait a minute! I forgot we do have a free spin. Yes, and we're gonna spin again. Three hundred. R. The zip. No, no, I got you. You, you got, got right. I to buy felony. One. I'm in the puzzle. All right. You tricky, boy. <laughs> Oh, I don't care, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right here. He got ya. Oh, oh right shit. Now. L. One. Uh, <laughs> by the A. <laughs> I know the first one, but... <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna spin again. I would like to take a pee. Do the beaver's mouth! Actually, there's a pee in the puzzle. By the U. Blank A R blank E blank. Paul Paul blank A R blank E blank. Blank A R blank E blank. Oh man, can I see? Uh, Wait, she's got a saw. Paul Harvey. Yeah. No, how are we supposed to? Yeah, I know. She spelled with H A R V E I. No, it's Harvey. He's got it. Mm -hmm. Only for 200. I'm sober. Doing good. Let me do it that now. Yeah. Alright, five thousand dollars base to the wheel. Yeah, we got all. We got all saturated. <laughs> five thousand dollars space is added to the. Oh, you nearly had it too, but. It, just one tenth of the inch. L. No. Yeah, I just missed it. L. Uh. Wrong. This is actually our eighth game. Wow. <laughs> So far, we haven't got the cast, but we are still keeping the one going, too. So, that's... <laughs> Pretty much keeping the game going. Vexel's character starts with the... Oh, okay, I know the first one, so that's right off the bat. Uh, I don't think. That wasn't for you, Tim, so you got wrecked again. <laughs> Team. Oh, wrecked again. Kinda. Well, uh, we know it has to be the, so that's the first one we the uh, bat. What is that, five times? <laughs> the. Three fifty. One. One S. 
We're at 26.50. That's our total. Chad has 200. But if he did get over our score and saw this one, yeah, we're pretty much yeah, we're screwed. R. Two R's. Hey, you wanna get on top? Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. One, two, three. Three R. Uh, three R's. Sorry, three E's. I can't even speak. So. <laughs> Blank, blank, R, E, blank, E, blank, R, S. What? The... Oh, I think I know what it is. <laughs> the Care Bears. <laughs> Dirty, dirty. He's got it, but we are off to the bonus level, 2650. <laughs> the W. The W? W. Oh boy, this one's gonna be a good one. Categories of place. W. Here we go. R, S, T, L, N, and E is in the person. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, H God. M That is not the puzzle. P O Yes. The Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> A third vacation in the world. Fifty one thousand seven fifty. Two games in a row, uh, eight games so far, and we haven't got the cash. Alright. Coming up next, the S Not Challenger. Say hello there for that. Oh, rental car! Hey, welcome back to S and R. Well, cool, we, um, did a pretty good job. Doing it off camera, we had a few, few good time with these press Nailer, but they're gonna press a bit of more luck as we're gonna play Color Wars. Now, for the first time whoever's seen or played Color Wars, the rules is pretty much simple. I'm gonna ask general knowledge question. By using the keypad, my sky gear, uh, my sky gears. Hang on. The sky gears will buzz in and see they get, to see they get away. If they get away, they have options to play the board or pass to the other players. Fun. Right? Ooh, this is where it's going to be even more fun. Round one, if you could survive. We put up money balls, but also to the color con coordinates, to the other players. If you happen to hit one of the other player coordinates, you're out of the game. We're gonna keep playing to the Soul Survivor wins. That Soul Survivor wins the cash and play the bonus round as they're playing for the top cash prize. And are you ready for this one? 
for tonight's top cash prize. One hundred thousand dollars. You heard me correct. One hundred thousand dollars. It's just like panel quiz attack, but it's a little something to the twist. And I will tell you about it in the bo I'll tell you more about the bonus round as the game progress. So let's get to Color Wars. Now, this will be in color coordinates, and this is actually the way for the sky gas. Jeff is going to be blue. World War H1 will be in red. Eugene is in yellow, and Nick's green. I'll take it. Alright, in that order, since if you look at the strikers, I still got <laughs> in that order. So it'll be easy for me. Okay. It'll be actually make it a lot more easier. So, Chaps in blue, Rubble's in red, uh, Eugene's yellow, and. Next screen. And I'm green. There we go. And now, for the strikers, bring up your dial pad. Are we gonna see the thing? Oh. You know what? Let's see if it doesn't crap out. Can you guys see? Not yet. That's green, so that uh, means Harry Potter, Potter reference. Thanks. Yes? No? So, Eugene's Gryffindor. Uh, no, Robo's Gryffindor. I'm Hufflepuff. Chap's Ravenclaw. You're a Slytherin. Uh, uh Ben, there's another capital in the R. Oh. Guess I have made a mistake. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Everyone can see? Yeah. I can see. Yep. Alright. You guys got the... Clear. You yep. guys got the dial pad? Yep. <laughs> Catacombs. Y'all get to start with one. Now, the way it works is I'll ask general knowledge questions. Some can be easy, some can be hard. Some can be fun. Some can be odd, weird. Oh, some can be in geography, pop culture, video games, etc. And are we ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Yes. Uh here we go. Question right, number you know. uno. <laughs> what card game is also known as the Spanish word for one? First. Me. Rubble. Uno. Correct. Now what you want to do, play or pass? Let's go. Oh, so you get 50 bucks for a correct answer, of course. Boss in motion. Boom. Hundred dollars more. That becomes a win. <laughs> wow. Here we go. 
What? U.S. State? What? U.S. State hosts its annual Oh man Actually, let me rephrase this one What U.S. City hosts its annual Oscars? Who is that one? Me Cameron Oscars. Is it Los Angeles? Yeah. Oh, Great City, whatever. California. Oh, 16 Oscars. Play or pass? Let's play. $200. There you go. And that's now blue. Which country? Host the annual Cannes or Cannes Film Festival. Me. Eugene. Yes. Correct. Let's try. Alright. Come on, money. Fifty bucks. Better than nothing. Alright. Here we go. I think I've done it now. Chrysler contestant Michael Lawson hit the record high in Price Luck. What was his final total? Me. Eugene. $110,237. Right. Let's try. I actually kind of make that one. He actually broke it in the month of June. Wow. And he gets 50 bucks more. He's at 300. Close enough. Poor oh boy. Human Chip is tied for a lead. Level second, next third. Here we go. Oh. Uh, anything comes into mind. Huh. Yeah, I'm asking questions from the top of my head. But speaking of top of the head, what improv show where improvers can make up from the top of their heads? Me. Whose line is it anyway? That's right. Let's try. All right. Come on, money, 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 money. Ooh. Oh. Sorry, Eugene, you're out of the game. And he's leaving us with $300. So. Here we go. It is now Jack Wobble and Nick. <laughs> <laughs> what U.S. highway is known as the famous highway? I don't even know. <laughs> Who was first? That was me. Nick. Can oh, that right. be Highway 94? Highway 94. Incorrect. I think that was me. Alright, Jack. The historic Route 66. That's correct. Let's play. Get your kicks on Route 66. Oh. Damn! Wow. Now that is a well. Boy, well, were you getting lucky. I also like your team. Chap is leaving with $300. Good try, though. It's between Bubble and Nick. Wow. Here we go. I say, let's not waste time and get this on the road. Okay, I'm trying to think of something new. Oh, I got it. Oh, since I'm out, I've got a new question. Uh-oh. Go for it. 
is the name of the password host Betty White married until his death? What? What is the name of Betty White's husband who who hosted Password? Come on. Five seconds. Boy. It was Alan Ludden. Big enough, Betty White. What show Betty White is known to be on? As we hear the toilet flash. <laughs> Not me! That was my end, sorry. Okay, <laughs> what show Betty White is known to be on? Two, one. Wow. It was the Golden Girls. Yeah, you could have been a little more specific. Yeah. Here's a new question. What Scottish comedian and current host of Celebrity Name Game played Nigel Wick on the Drew Carey Show? Who was that one? Well, right. Craig Ferguson. Oh, hey, it's a great day for America, my cheeky monkeys. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to pass to Nick. He hadn't had a turn yet. Oh. All right, Jerry. All right. Hold your thought about that one. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, sorry, hang on. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm back. It's showing Nick. Yeah, I know. He passed to Nick. 50 bucks. Oh, he did? Okay. Alright. I am dumb. <laughs> Love ya. What fictional character has celebrated its 70th anniversary this year? Oh. Yes. Isn't it obvious? Could it be Thomas the Tank Engine? Yup. He is correct. Seventy years old. Wow. Yup, so you can play or pass to Robo. I'll try to play. There we go. Two hundred dollars. I got one. Wow. Okay. okay, go ahead, chap. All right. The show is known as Hollywood Squares in the U.S., but in the U.K. there is no Hollywood. Instead, what is the U.K. version of Hollywood Squares called? Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> It may sound stupid, but I'm going to give it a shot by saying London Squares. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Welcome to London Squares. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be stupid. Yes. <laughs> Mikey Batten Squares. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity squares. Celebrity squares. Ah. <laughs> Celebrity squares, mate. Oh, I got, I got a good one. It's also in the UK, thing so. Over here in the US, we call Family Feud. What's it called in London? Yes. That was me. Yes, Robo. Family fortunes. That's correct. Pass. Oh. 
Nick got $500. Why not? Hope I don't land on one of your spaces. And I landed on my own. 25 bucks. For that Here's one. one. What are the names of the Crack Brothers who hang out with a title lemur named Zaboomafu? The names are obvious. Chris and Martin. We'll accept Chris and Martin Pratt. Alright, 575. Play or pass. I'm playing. Ooh, whiskey. Now the 25 bucks. He's now at $600. Oh, I got a good one. This is going to be good. What were the two names? What two names of the gang grumps? Yes. What, the current gang grumps? Yes. Aaron and Danny. Pass. Oh. There we go. Fifty bucks more. Nick is at six fit no, one fifty actually, and I he is now at seven fifty to level three hundred. Oh I got one. What is the name of the teen of the nineties teen idol who voiced young Simba in The Lion King and played Randy Taylor on Home Improvement? Yes. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Yep. He's correct, actually. And I missed that show, Home Improvement. And I'm going to pass it and give Robo a chance. And to know for a fact, in one of the episodes of Home Improvement, he actually admits it is tough. Yeah, he's a tough catch up, but I expect him to be king. And now it's in the episode of Good Night Gracie. Levels 200. Okay, I've got the best question ever. Oh, and the package goes up. I don't know. Oh, uh, well, you know my questions for being complicated. Get ready. Two trains leave a station at the same time. One train leaves the Union Station in Chicago, heading south. The other train leaves Washington, D.C., heading west. They are both going at 74 miles per hour. In two hours, what color are you playing as? <laughs> yes. That was me. Yes? That was me. Bravo. Red. Red. <laughs> wow! <laughs> they did that. On, they did Pass. that. On get, they did that on Get the Picture a lot. You wanted me to lose, Dink, don't you? No. No, well, just read the bonus, Chris. Up fifty <laughs> bucks. He's now at a thousand levels at seventeen fifty. Oh, I've got one. Yes. Who hosted the British version of Wheel of Fortune as well as Keep It in the Family? And the chase in Britain. Oh crap, I forgot his name. Wow. <coughs> I know the answer. Me too. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds. Alright, you can spit it out, it's guys. Bradley Walsh! Yep. Yeah, it was Bradley Walsh. Ooh, speaking of the chase, what chaser is recently married and is known by the Beast? Who was that one? Hey. Yes. Eugene's gonna kill me if I get this wrong. Mark Labette. That's right. You're right. I'll play one at. Ooh. Fifty bucks more to level. He is now at twenty two hundred to next thousand. Ooh. I got one. Yes. 
which member of Whose Line Is It Anyway has a podcast called The Smartest Man in the World? Five seconds. If you guys paid attention to my profile picture, the correct answer was Greg Proops. Ah! Yeah. I think I got a better who's lying question. <laughs> yes. The U.S. versions of Who's Lines It Anyway have been hosted by Drew Carey and Aisha Tyler, respectively. In the U.K., who hosted it? <laughs> oh, man. That's I think I know. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Okay. Clive Anderson. Clive Anderson. It was Clive okay, Anderson. Let, let, let me try a different one. Okay. How much is one and one? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone's gonna fall for that. <laughs> Whoever buzzed in first, you win. <laughs> I did. Okay. What was the answer? How much is one and one? one? Wait, what? Uh, uh, Look, I need your uh, answer, actually. Uh, <laughs> the bacon? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. You're trying to make a blood boil, aren't you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go go crazy when I say this. Uno, uno, dos, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, Is that your answer? No, I'm going to say it's two. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I didn't want to be stupid. <laughs> yeah. Polio pass it I'll try to We're play. using a strategy to conspire against Nick. There's six left on the bull one. Tell me now. Doesn't pay him. Five left on the bull one. And, and I've got a good one. The two. Before you do that, Eugene, look at the bull one. Eight? Nine and six. No, not nine and six. Look at the board. Whoa. What, yeah, what kind of holiday are you thinking of? Christmas. There you go. In June. <laughs> Christmas in June? Is... Holy shit. Well, it's, I it's, it's Christmas in July. It's, it's, it's about sense, to be the summer solstice. Right? <laughs> yeah. Like in a few hours. I know. 9.38 in the morning. They were saying, it's like, oh my god. It's not July. Oh, it's 1.38 here right now. <laughs> Alright, yeah, uh, Eugene's got a question. Okay. But here we go. <clears throat> Which Jeopardy! champion played against Ken Jennings and Brad Rutter in the finals for the Battle of the Decades tournament? Ooh. God. You're kidding me. I did not oh, watch one. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of because we all know the answer. You go, wow. I'm sorry, I didn't watch that one. Yeah, uh, five seconds. Uh, it was Roger Craig. Roger Craig. Roger Craig? Roger Craig? Mm -hmm. And doing a of his original one, he found two daily doubles right off the bat, and he rescued all. Oh, you, did you say Battle of the Decades? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn it. But <laughs> of his well, original one. Tournament of champions. Uh, yeah. Uh, going back to who's lying, as we all know, 
Which whose line hosts the Canadian version of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Which whose line cast member hosts the Canadian version of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Yes. Oh, I probably don't know this, God. but I'm going to make a dumb answer and say Terrence and Philip. <laughs> Hello. Pass. Colin Mockery. Ah. Chap, you have a question? Yeah. Well, now I'm kind of running out of steam. Because <laughs> he won't answer it. Yeah, okay, never mind. Um. We've got another presidential election coming up next year. Sorry, I had to remind you. Uh, how many presidents will we have had by 2016? Who was that? Also, uh, uh, that uh, was let Nick. Me, let me rephrase that. What number president will we have in 2016? Nick. Bring in. 45. Alright. 2100 to 2200. A close, close match. I'm gonna play. $50. Oh, Full amount on the board to go. Right, Holy you... shit. I'm gonna pee myself. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this board right now. Whoa! Someone is gonna hit something! Oh boy. And I've got a very good... I've got an easy question for you guys. Okay. What is the capital of China? <laughs> yes? Beijing. Yup! That was host the Olympic Games. Where Back in 2008. Yep. Main reason is because eight is a lucky same, number. That's the same year I graduated high school. I'm playing. We <laughs> laugh. Oh God. All right. Okay. Okay, I've got another year thing going on here. Rio de Janeiro is hosting the Olympics in 2016. Who... I'm, I'm hoping I'm right on this. Who won the bid for the 2020 Olympics? Yes. The Tokyo? Yeah, Tokyo. Oh, wow. Tokyo. I would hope so. <laughs> I did not know Tokyo, Tokyo was going to do that. All right, Nick. You want me to lose, don't you? I do not. That yes, is not my purpose. Fire! I'm not lying. He's staying. <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot about that rule. Here's what? a good question. <clears throat> what game show was hosted by Regis Philbin, Meredith Vieira, Cedric the Entertainer, and Terry Crews? Who was that? Me. Bravo. Who, who wants to be a millionaire? Right on. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Two left on the board. We are never going to finish this game. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to get done by sunrise, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's already quarter of two where I live. I've got another one. Yes. Richard Dawson, Ray Combs, Louis Anderson, Richard Karn, John O'Hurley, and Steve Harvey are the hosts of what popular... <laughs> okay, who was that? <laughs> that was me! Did, did, you just, did you just dial someone's number by accident? No. Family feud. <laughs> Alright, alright, I'm gonna pass. 
again. Oh my god. <laughs> if I fail, I guarantee you you wanted me to lose. No, I do not! And now look what's happened! I just did. Just did. 31 75 to Nick! Wow, that was a battle! Very crappy and now I'm going to tell now. I didn't want you to lose, Nick. I just wanted a good battle. It was oh, no. actually a good battle. Wait, what kind of good battle involves pass, 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 pass? Alright. Gotta keep it interesting. But the scores were very close, though. The scores was very much. The scores was close. So, I gave you that pretty much. 77, 79, 25 combined totals. That is right now. But here's the bonus round. This is how it goes. Well, was gonna keep playing till he could fill the square. Each square is worth money. If he could fill the entire first wall, that's 25,000. The next one will be 50,000. The third one will be 75. And if he could fill all four walls, $100,000. Here's the catch. And I love this one. If, and I mean if, you hit one of your own that you hit next to a strike. Five strikes out of the game. And you leave a what? What you're gonna get? So are you ready? Uh huh. Here we go. That's one. Turn it. Four hundred. Six hundred. Eight hundred thousand dollars. Who's doing that? Twelve hundred Yowza. Got a my one knocks off a strike. I forgot about that. If you get a strike and if you hit the right ones, then you're good and then you got that strike back again. Oh, somewhere in 500 questions, but different. Bye bye, strike again. Eighteen hundred. Two thousand so far. Now it's going to be a wee bit fun. Ooh, strike two. All right, knocks off that strike. Knocks out that strike. One more, he gets 25,000. One more, he gets another 25,000. No, he gets 25,000. Oh, so close. Strike one. Strike two. So close, that's strike number three. Level, you're getting very darn close. Uh oh, strike three again. Strike 
Oh, this is gonna be now. You got three thousand dollars. There's five left on the board. If you could get rid of the top, if you could fill the top, that's twenty-five instantly. Get on the left side, twenty-five instantly. Bottom, twenty-five thousand instantly. But the right side only got two left. And you got three thousand. Would you like to take three grand? Half of that would be fifteen hundred. I'm taking oh. the money. Oh, you wanna play in hopes to fill the top, bottom, or left for twenty-five thousand? I'm taking the money. Three thousand dollars. Seventy-one fifty plus nine hundred twenty-five. That's the grand total right there. Seventy-one fifty plus we add all these guys in total. Yep, that's why right. ten thousand nine hundred twenty-five dollars goes to everybody. Good okay, okay, guys. All right. That is how we Thank do very much. color wars. So coming up next, an arcade game that I actually did promise that we can drive. Stay in that one. Welcome back to Astronaut Mike. Right now we're going to use my bloggy. So we're going to mix the manga with the recordings of OBS and then whatever I can't get on the OBS I could get on Bloggy. So we're going to mix the mango as the night goes. So, uh, we're going to do the arcade game. I think this will be the last, yeah, this will be the last second of the night. So, oh yeah, but here's something we are, since we're gonna do our sincere apologies for the SNR Challenger and the Price is Right. Of course, the SNR Challenger is gonna be pushed into next week, so next week's show we're gonna do it for real. First, we'll be at the Price is Right on night 225, we're gonna do our. With Fortune, yes, not Challenger, and of course the Dirty Fortune. Dirty Fortune. And tomorrow, doing Aubrey's birthday special, we're going to do the Prices Right. No, I assume we're doing three of them? Million Dollar Spectaculous. But, catch on. I'll be supposed to leave channel soon. Alright, now we're gonna do... Hot driving. And by the way, that's tonight's arcade game. We're gonna use stick shift.
Now it's kind of hard on driving stick. <laughs> we jumped so freaking high. So close to the checkpoint.
Oh, it's just button on the light at the back. Thousand two forty.
You're freaking kidding me. Yeah, I didn't even get this far. Wow. Oh, come on, don't do this to me again. Twenty nine sixty eight. Wow. Not yeah, maybe I should turn this one more. What the stunt track?
Well, there you go. Um, there you go, that's it for hard driving. Even though we can't get to the finish line, it just proved that automatic is better than a stick shift. Because you really had to pull on that clutch. In video games, I can't drive stick it has to be automatic very much possible drive automatic don't drive manual because that's going to be the stick shift problem also remind in real life buckle up drive safely And I think that would be it for night 224 of Fast and Fun night. A wacky night. Had a few little problems, but we got to all figure it out. That's not fun. I want to get everything. So I think I better. Yeah. Do that exactly. Cause later on, today got Abby's birthday special and got a lot of segments to film. So that's fun. As always, we would like to thank all Skype guests for being part of Night 224 of Aston Anytime. You're welcome. We, of course, would like to thank you for watching. Next week will be Night 225 as we got Wheel, Challenger, Dirty Wheel, and another segment either we're going to pop up on the arcade game or do a video gameplay that will blow your mind. So, that would be night 225. For our Skype guest, Ben, 712 a 7 signing off.